In this video, we're going to look at your first Regents quiz of the year to get a sense of how this process works. So here is the Regents quiz. We'll click on that. And here is the walkthrough. It's basically the same for all Regents quizzes. First, we're going to actually try the quiz out. So here it is. I'm going to click this. It'll take you to a PDF of the quiz. You can download it if you want to and you're able to. You can print it out. Take your time on this. Write it down. But the idea is on your first attempt, try it without any help. Don't look at your notes. Don't study. Just try it to see what you know without any assistance other than a graphing calculator, which is always allowed. So try these problems out. And on this quiz, they're all focused on probability, and there are eight of them. It could take you a while, but really try on your own. When you're done with this, and again, you should be working on paper. Don't just do it in your head or on the screen. When you're ready, you can submit your first attempt on this Google form. So this form is very straightforward. In other words, there's not really much to it. So here I'm going to pick just some random answers here. Okay. Right, that's a decimal to the nearest thousandth. I want to say 0 0.123. I'm going to pick some random choices here. Let's say twos, three, um, I don't know, one. You're just picking the answers. They're just multiple choice problems here. And they correspond to the choices on the test. If I go back to the test here, notice one, two, three, four. It's just talking about those choices. Then you go to next. You type in your name, right? And tell me what period and what day you're in class with me, and then click Submit. Now, it says here, thanks, I got your submission. Please check your email to see your results. Cool. Let's go to my email. Here's the email, and ah, there's our message. Let's check it out. All right. <laughs> it put my first and last name in this field. Hello, hello, I am here. That should say your name. All of the answers are in video form. So I'm going to give you all the answers worked out in detail. And it says, just click on the problem in the PDF, and it will take you to a video solution. So I'm going to click this. And what I've basically done is insert invisible links on all of the problems, right? There are eight problems here. And I want you to be able to see these answers as you go through it. So all you have to do is scroll to a problem and click on it and it will show you the video. I'll go through that at the end. What it will do is it will first, this email will give you the answers that you wrote down. Then it will tell you the scores on each of those questions. One will always be correct, zero will be incorrect. You know, I, I randomly guessed here and it did not work out. It says you can enter corrections on the same Regents quiz form. So if you click this, it takes you back to the form you filled out before. It's the same thing. It's just your second attempt. So I'm going to accept two attempts from everybody. And the second attempt is the one that I will keep, right? In this case, uh, the quizzes are due at this time. And late submissions will lose credit, right? We want things on time. And again, let's go back to the PDF. Now, in both cases here, I, I just made this video. This should show a little hand on the problem that you can click, and then I'll go to the video. So let me toggle over to the actual working PDF. This is not the correct one, so you can see what I mean. So this is the actual PDF that I wanted to show up. I will go fix that. You can see it says probability with video help as a PDF file. Now look when I scroll over a problem. You see that, this little hand? If I click on any problem or tap any problem, it takes me to a YouTube video that covers that problem. All right, so these videos correspond to every problem on the Regents test and walks you through it. So if you are unsure on a problem um, and you need some support, you can find that here. So every problem has a video. All you have to do is scroll to it. And that brings me to a, my last couple of pieces of advice here. So um, calculators are always permitted. And ooh, I misspelled loses there. I'll fix that. Uh, that's loses credit. I'll fix that. Um, the two things I would say are, number one, please don't guess. Please do not guess on a problem. You don't want to accidentally get it right on the first attempt. On that first attempt, 
you're trying to figure out what problems you need support on. So I would, on this Google form right here, please, if you don't know the answer, don't guess like I just did, leave it blank, right? Leave it blank. And then the second thing I would say is, let me go back to this, please save, right? Keep a log of all the problems you got incorrect. So you can write the problems out, take a picture, a screenshot, put it into a Google Doc, save every problem that you got incorrect. Because that that file of all those incorrect problems will be a great resource in the in the fourth quarter, towards the end of the year. It'll make a great study guide. Save all the problems you got wrong. That will really help. So again, calculator is always loud. That's number one. Two, please don't guess. And three, save the problems that you had a hard time on. That'll make a great collection for you to study from. All right, I hope this helped.